Hello from the Brown Thumb Garden. Stephanie here. Hope everybody's having a great evening. Just thought I'd talk a little bit of cucumelon with you. Um, so I'm sitting here by my cucumelon plant and uh, it's right there. And I just wanted to share some ob observations that I've had about it. And um, talk a little bit about it because it's unusual and some people probably have never heard of it um, but it's so far been an interesting and fun little addition to my garden when I first picked up the cucumelon seedlings I got them from my local greenhouse I bought them for a fun plant I thought they looked really cute after reading the instructions um, I planted them in one of my raised bed planters and I anticipated that they wouldn't take up a lot of space because that's what the tag said and uh, so I gave them about a foot of distance and um, thought okay well we'll see what happens so one of the fun things that I've discovered with the cucumelon is that they seem to be pretty resilient to a brown thumb, which is great because they're less likely to die under my watch. <laughs> so um, something that uh, I've discovered, I've done a little bit of reading about them just because I had never heard of them before and I really didn't know what kind of fruits they were going to produce, what the fruits taste looked like, how the plants were going to behave. Um, so in any case, uh, something that I discovered is that they're pretty resilient and they're pretty easy to grow. And that has proven to be true in my experience so far. So this is the cucumelon. Uh, as you can see, it's quite small. Like the leaves are quite small in comparison to the other leaves that are kind of sprouting up amongst the plant. Um, for perspective, here's my hand and there's a leaf. So, and that's a, a decent sized leaf. Um, this is about as big as the leaves get. I don't really see any in here that are any bigger than that. Um, but the way that this plant seems to work is uh, it has sprouted lots and lots of little, little tendrils and the leaves are coming out on shoots and then the tendrils kind of shoot out from the, these individual shoots that are coming off the plant and um, some of the longest ones that I have right now are probably three to four feet long. It's hard to see because they're all tangled together here, but um, it is very, very dense inside the planter, um, and it doesn't seem to be hampering the growth of the plants at all. Uh, so when you're growing the cucumelon, um, it took a little bit of time to get started. When I purchased the seedlings, uh, I really don't know how long they had been growing, but it probably took two to three weeks before I started to notice any kind of actual growth on the plants of any substance. I wasn't sure if they were ever going to grow, but they did finally start growing and they started producing little flowers pretty quick. Um, so as I started to notice the shoots coming off of the main plant and the little tendrils, I decided to go pick up a small trellis uh, because according to the tag, the plant wasn't going to get very big. So I ended up getting a little wood trellis right here and I, I set it in between both plants. So one of the plants is on one side, the other plant is on this side. Um, so 
as uh, as the the summer has gone on, uh, the plant has really been flourishing. Um, I water about every two to three days, and uh, it, it's never really seemed to be upset about that. And I also have it in this galvanized container and the the warmth of the dirt hasn't seemed to affect things at all with this plant either so it's uh, it's been pretty good that way and I haven't seen any discoloration of the leaves um, there hasn't really seemed to be any pests that have attacked it or anything and in reality one of the things that I did read is that they seem to be uh, rather immune to pests. Um, so there's not really bugs that are gonna bother it, and that's great. So, um, so once the plant started to get established, uh, like I said, it was putting off some flowers really early on, but it, it wasn't really doing anything with those flowers and and it's pretty standard when it comes to melons just like other melons it's got male flowers and female flowers um, and there wasn't any fruit being produced for quite a while um, it's actually only been in the last two to three weeks that I've noticed any fruit coming on so just uh just to give you an idea of what the fruits look like, um, they are very small, they're like that. Um, there's another one here, and they generally get to be about the size of a grape. Once they get to be about that size, they're ripe to pick. You just gotta pinch it off from the little stem that it's growing on, and you can just pop it right in your mouth, or you can save it for later and eat it in a salad. Um, the fruits have a flavor very similar to cucumber, but there is a little bit of a lemon zing, so uh, it's, a, it's a familiar flavor, but it's just got a little bit of an extra twist to it, so that's kind of nice. And I haven't tried this yet, but I think once I actually start pulling fruits off of this plant in a decent volume, I'm going to put some in some water and diffuse overnight um, to see if it gives me the same effect as using cucumber and lemon together. One other interesting thing that I've learned about this plant is that it's actually a perennial. I still have to do some reading on that. I'm not sure if if the roots actually continue living throughout the winter or if it's considered a perennial because it just reseeds itself because there are a lot of seeds in the little fruits. Um, so that'll be requiring a little bit more research on my part, but uh, just thought that you might be interested in a little introduction to the cucumelon because it is something that's not found in everybody's garden and I think that for somebody like myself who has a tendency to have a brown thumb this one has proved pretty resilient for me so I think that it's a plant that I'm going to continue um, including in my annual garden so there you go. That's the cucumelon or the Mexican gherkin, depending on how you, however you want to say it. So happy gardening.